Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is again leftover replays from the Starcon New York City land. Upper left hand corner we have Kaido starting as the yellow Zerg. Bottom right hand corner we have Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Striker or Hawk, arguably the best Terran in the United States currently, in North America I should say. Um, trying to think if there are other Zerg. Kaido not is definitely in that range though. Kaido actually... I didn't know a lot about him going into this tournament, and I didn't know how strong an opponent he would be, and went very, very deep, and really impressed me with this play overall. Uh, very, very, I guess he's more typically a 2v2 player. I was excited to see him. I like seeing new players that every once, I swear, every time I go to one of these lands, I find some player that I just haven't heard about that's like an A slash S ranker. That everyone's like, oh, this guy's back, who's incredible. I love it. Uh, anyway, this is part of the Neo Dark Origin round. That's how I'm labeling and categorizing these, uh, basically by the bracket round rather than kind of trying to, because it, it flips around a lot. But anyway, Neo Dark Origin, ZVZ, you might be able to pull off a 12th hatch, actually. It looks like we're seeing instead an overpool from Kaido to start. Striker starting with. I think that was a overpool as well, but he's not yet tacked on his gas. Actually, I, I think I'm off on that. I think that was a 12 pool. I just doing too much time talking. More drones for striker by two, so I, yeah, I think that was a, a 12 pool overall. So Kaido, I feel like the overpool build and nine pool builds in general, you have a little bit of flexibility where you can drop some sunken colonies in your main and try to win it via air attack. You can go Zergling speed to start and try to play it aggressively from there. A later extractor and later spawning pool, but stronger economy. Striker also going to be able to get that natural expansion a little bit earlier. We do see the initial two Zerglings being built. We'll see if it moves up to three as to whether it's going to be more of a speedling opener. We are seeing a straight tech to layer before, before uh, spawning pool speed upgraded. So this lets us know that Kaido wants to win it via airplay. That should provoke Striker if he gets the scout. Into potentially a Zergling press. And I feel like on Neo Dark Origin, because it is, you do have a ramp down here. Might be defendable. I think the ramp maps actually also make the that this strategy from Kaido a little bit more viable. Zergling's currently holding the low ground. One problem with this though is you got the double ramps to try to cover where you could mine out that back edge. Uh, although I don't think I don't think Striker's gonna have an opportunity and that would be a little bit too much of a dedication. Maybe if the Zerglings take down that stasis prison. Point being there are options. So, Z uh, so six Zerglings making the way about. Looks like we have Zergling speed now being upgraded both sides. Striker's lair going to be significantly behind. Lair now finished for Kaido. And still, and now that Overlord for Striker finally moving in. Oops, sorry about that. Spire being built. Does Striker now move to Evolution Chamber in response upon seeing all this? Or does he go for a counter Zergling Flood knowing that he's up a hatchery? In the meantime, Kaido moving a lot of his Zerglings out. Striker up a single drone right this second. Looking for the response in play. Couple Zerglings. Kaido opting to get aggressive to make sure Striker plays more defensively or maybe dedicates additional Zerglings so that he can get some Mutalisks up in the air. Striker doesn't have the better spread and it looks like built an inferior amount of Zerglings right here. So instead, right here, might be able to end it. Natural Expansion Hatchery, gonna get obliterated. And the beauty of this is this is as the layers finish. So one Mutalisk is a follow-up. Kaido wins or he can just continue building Zerglings. And Striker still hasn't dropped his Spire. Build order victory here, beautifully executed from Kaido overall. Still working on that natural expansion hatchery. Striker just getting pushed out overall. Keep in mind, Striker does have that three worker lead, but it just, it's not gonna make a difference. Looks like he did drop the Spire. I'm trying to figure out where. Spire finished. And Striker just gonna have to GG out right there. Quick one. I feel like I was a little distracted in this one, but we'll call it, <laughs> I'll do better in the game too. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thanks for listening.